Hello everybody, I am the Linkzilla, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories. Now, when we last left off, we had beaten the Halloween Town portion of the game. We managed to beat Oogie Boogie in a really interesting boss battle once you figure out what was going on. Now we're going to head back to Castle Oblivion. Uh, before I closed off the game last time, I went in and edited my deck just to kind of add more healing items. I put uh, Cloud's Slashing Attack back in in the rotation as well as some higher level cards just to see like how that would work out so let's get to it shall we uh oh <gasps> mantis I bet you want to actually I bet that you're a Too genius. Clever. I'm Larxene. So, are you enjoying your stay at the castle? I bet it's nice to peel away all the worthless memories and awaken the true memories <laughs> that lie deep in your heart. True memories? Although, it seems that you're still forgetting the most important thing here. What? When that poor girl hears that you've forgotten her name, why, it'll just, it'll break her heart. The amount that this girl, girl is smiling makes me think Do she's going to ask her? me how, if I want to know how she got those scars. <laughs> Seriously, like, she... that's totally a female joker right you... then and there. Yes, she is. You see, the bad guys are holding her captive somewhere deep inside the castle. Deep? But we've been going up. And you obviously are the hero, so you have to go save her. Although... Hey, what? That was a sucker kick, and whoa, is that... Is that Oathkeeper? Why is it yellow? The sides are supposed to be kind of whitish, white and... whitish, red and blue. I'm a bad guy, so you have to go through me. Wow, I bet you're a genius, too. What's that? Is that thing... mine? It's what not Oathkeeper? What a shame! You've been wearing it all this time and forgot? No. That's not possible. The memory has to be engraved somewhere deep inside your heart. Sora, you think carefully now. What, oh what, could it be? And who gave it to you? Nah. Nah. Meh. Sora, Sora, you're getting it now. Release the memory from within your heart. Nomi... Nomine. Well, Nomine. it's about time. That's right, Nomine. Yes, she's the one that gave you that tacky little good luck charm. Not that you even bothered to remember. No surprise, seeing as you also couldn't remember her name. <laughs> Talk about Heartless, I can't believe you. It'd serve you right if I decided to smash this piece of junk. Let it go! You try that again, bitch. You lose a hand. Nominate gave me this. It's very important to me. Is it, Sora? Is it really? It's important to you. Huh. I guess she has quite the electric personality. Ten seconds ago, you didn't even know what it was! I have a feeling that this chick has had a lot of electroshock therapy in her time. Okay, so... <laughs> I have so many questions. First and foremost is basically, like, does this game really expect me to buy that? Okay, it could be possible that Sora had another friend who was a girl on that island. I mean, he had Selfie, she was there, although I'm not convinced that Selfie, Waka, or Titus even were there. I think that they were just illusions dreamed up by Sora, but that's for a different video. The thing about it is, regardless of that, having another girl who was friends with Sora, Riku, and Kairi does the game really expect us to believe that she just happened to also make a coincidentally heart-shaped, star-shaped pendant 
as a good luck charm to give to Sora to remember her by? What the friggin' hell, game? We already friggin' had that with Oathkeeper. And me not being able to tell the difference between hearts and stars. I mean, hearts, stars, horseshoes, clovers and blue moons, pots of gold and rainbows, and the red balloons? That's me lucky charms! <laughs> I had a headache. I gave myself a headache. Anyway, I actually am pretty intrigued, though. I'm intrigued to know what kind of relationship Sora had with this nominee, and what role she's going to play in this game and in future events. Ow, my head. Okay. I'm going blind in one eye. <clears throat> That's what I say when, like, uh, one of my eyes gets fuzzy, but... <laughs> Anyway, I have a feeling that this battle is going to be very tedious, so I'm going to take a minute to kind of learn her strategy, and then I'm just going to try to avoid, I'm just going to try to like basically avoid her attacks, and then I'm going to try to hit her when the opportunity comes, alright? So bear with me, this is going to be annoying. Mother of God! Thank you very much, Cloud! Yes! Awesome! And that is her defeated! Wow, that was uh, quite a tough and annoying battle, seriously. Ow, my head still hurts, and is that thunder? THUNDER! You been! THUNDERSTRUCK! Awesome, and I leveled up too. Basically, I'm not taking any chances this time. I'm getting myself some more cards. <laughs> Hold still. You're not as bad as I thought. You really are a hero. A heartless hero. Who asked Bitch. you? Oh, does it hurt because it's the truth? You are just a baby. I thought I was a heartless and hero. if you're gonna be a baby, then here you go. I created another card from your memories, you know. Be a good boy and say thanks. Ta-ta. Wait, I am seen... going to cut her up and bury her in the trunk of someone's car. Where are you? Don't you dare hide from me! Show yourself! Calm down, Sora. Sora, calm down! She's not coming back! Sora? Sora? I hate this. 
I hate it too, Sora. Why'd I need someone like that to bring back... Namine's memory? Right, four new new cards. Atlantica, Neverland, Halabastion, and the... The... The Hundred Acre Wood. Urgh! Urgh! My heart! It's doing that thing again! Urgh! I'm saving that. Wait, where's the save point? Where's the save point? I don't, I, I don't see a save point. Nelmine, so that's her name. Aren't you glad you finally remembered? Who cares what the bad guys say anyway? Whee! I hope you guys are right. Uh oh, another cutscene. Oh, the bitch returns. Throwing that battle wore me out. You really? threw nothing! It looked to me like you just plain lost. Ye How dare you! You don't appreciate the nuances of an ungainly huh? effort. Who is this? Vexen. Vexen? Don't How tell me I have to fight him next. By someone of such limited significance. You shame the organization. Does she? How can we help you, Vexen? It's not very often we see you topside. I came to lend you a hand. You obviously believe this Sora has much potential. But I remain unconvinced he is truly worth such coddling. I think an experiment would show if he really is of any value to us. <laughs> well, here we go again. It's just an excuse. So you can carry out your little experiments, that's all. I'm a scientist. Experiments are what I do. Yes. Whatever. You can do what you want. But you know, I think testing Sora is just a cover for testing your valet. Valet? <laughs> He's the product of pure research. What he actually is, is a toy. Hmm. <laughs> you should just learn to be quiet. Anyway... Since you came all this way, you're gonna need this. Is that Neverland? A humble gift to my elder. I hope you use it to put on a very good show for us. God, these guys' facial expressions. Who's that? Is that's that's Riku! I recognize that stupid skirt that he wears! Watch your past! We don't have time! They've got Namine! We gotta rescue her! Ooh, Sora sure does seem like he's upset. You be too. He just remembered a friend, but found out she's in trouble. Good boy. I guess if we heard that the king was in danger, we would be pretty upset about that too. I have a new theory. I think that it's like what Alice and the Cheshire Cat told Sora earlier. If you try too hard to remember something, your memory can trick you. What if that's what's happening to Sora right now? What if he's actually just being manipulated? What if all of this isn't even real? It's... it's a theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching. Well, anyways, uh... Hold on a second, I need to take care of something real quick. Uh, listen, listen. There, that ought to do it. Okay, so that let's save here. That battle was tedious. I mean, basically like with the, amount, the array of attacks that she ends up using, dishing out, I don't even know how I won. Uh, no, I don't want to delete. Okay, so... Everything, a whole bunch of things to take in, and they've got Riku! So, what's going on? Any friend of yours is a friend of ours. Let's go help Nemine! It's so weird having to hear Goofy pronounce a clear anime name. Come on, Sora! We gotta rescue Nemine from the bad guys! Whee! Alright, what world should I go to next? 
Well... It's been feeling hot out. I want to go for a swim. Oh man, I'm gonna have to be, keep talking throughout the rest of this video in order to not get copyright struck. Okay, we're back underwater. All the fishies. What the? Sora? Gorge, this looks like the bottom of the sea. Sora, do you notice anything odd about you guys being here? Because, I mean, you would think that basically lack of oxygen and everything. It sure does, so how come we can breathe? Good boy. Mm, beats me. Maybe someone cast a spell on us. It's just like breathing air. But it's not air! See? Someone's swimming this way! And she's got the trident. Ariel, what are you doing with that? Are you trying to hide that? If anyone asks, you didn't see me. Um, okay. What? Sorry, I don't have time to explain. Just promise you won't tell. Where's the crab? Where's the fat fish? Hey, what's that sparkling thingy you got there? Noth oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Remember, you didn't see me. Uh, Ariel, you've wanted to meet a human all this time. You're so interested in the surface world, and yet you clearly just met three guys who don't belong under the sea. I mean, seriously, like, one of them is clearly human, and he's standing on legs. Does that not bother you? Why is it that this isn't bothering anybody? And how can these be Sora's memories? Because Sora, the, the, the entire plot of the first game completely ch The entire plot of the movie was changed by the first game, but now it looks like we're catching up in the first movie. Because, wait, did Ariel ever steal the trident? She didn't. That was her daughter. That did... I think that Disney doesn't even know its own continuity at this point. Ah! Ah! Bedlam! She was hiding something. I wonder what it was. Maybe it was that giant gold fork that she was ha she had behind her back. And wait a second, why did she swim off in the exact same direction that she came? I want answers. Wow. This is all nice and all, but I kind of miss Sora with a dolphin tail. God, that sounded weird. <laughs> I don't know, there's just something interesting about it. And plus the freedom of mobility, not having to worry about nonsensical platforming. And right now I'm hungry, I'm getting a craving for shrimp and some fried fish. You know, I basically think that down here I'd be considered a monster. Of course, I'm a monster in the ocean regardless. Is this a bomb? It's a bomb! Screwdriver. There's something that I want to try out, so I'm going to edit my deck. Wait, where's your deck? My did it did it did it deck? I am coming up with lyrics so I don't get copyright struck. I don't know what I'm saying. It looks like I'm out of luck. Whoa, under the sea. Under the sea. This is a cover, so if a lover, Disney can't sue me. <laughs> I am trying to improvise, but it is clear it's not my size. <laughs> 
<laughs> At least I made myself laugh. <laughs> I want to see that base. I want to see like if it's possible to use like uh, that strike attack on other with other elements, not just the fire one. So, looks like I'm gonna have to remove a few cards. One day when the boss get hungry, guess who's gonna be on the plate? Oh no! Another scene. Two films she rated might be related. Surprisingly. Even though he's a demigod, and she hangs out with arthropods, though they're sequestered, they share ancestors, it's a theory. Speaking of which, Matt Pat, you're supposed to be on that by now. Huh. Alright, let's see what we can do. <clears throat> Here, fishy, 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 jellyfish! Okay, I guess not. Thunder. Yeah. This is it. Back off. Holy. Yeah. Drifloon. These guys aren't supposed to appear until the third act. Courage. Twice the duck. Power. Okay, I guess we don't get twice the duck. Hey, it's the it's what's one of these key to rewards. Wow, I I I don't know, man. I don't know. I just wonder how do you get Thunder Raid and Frost Raid? Let me see. Chain of Memories. That was gibberish. Okay, reaching ma magic slate card combination is attack cards. But when do you get it? Technique appears and can allow the user to wrap lightning. Keyblade, hurl it, thunder. Ah, it's from the. N you gotta get it from the Neverland Room of Rewards. I wonder what else I have to find in a Room of Rewards. <laughs> Let's see. Agraba. Blazing Donald. What? <laughs> Castle Oblivion, Super Glide, Mega Elixir. Gravity Raid. Bind. Bushu. Alright. I'm thinking, thinking. Blizzard Raid. Alright, so... Let's see, where do you get it? Huh. Looks like I have to go back to Olympus Coliseum for that. Well, this is the only door I've got, so let's go. Wait, did I... <sighs> Almost forgot to edit my deck. Don't want to be stuck with a bunch of useless cards again. Okay, let me see here. I don't want to do Bottomless Darkness again. Holy crap, that's still the only red card that I've got. It feels like forever since I've done this.
Hmm. It's been a while since I've been to a Moogle shop. Let's check them out. I gotta have, like, a lot of Moogle points by now. Help. Yeah! I got a potion! But fish in the bowl yeah, is yeah. lucky, they in for a worse a fate. One day when the boss get hungry, guess who gone beyond their plate? Here's a card pack for you, Koopo. Awesome! Crab Claw! That was one of my favorite ones from the last game. I think. I don't know, I just kind of like that it left a blue beam behind. Ooh, what's behind this belt? Should really focus on getting attack cards, though. Mmm, I smell crab. Okay, uh, just thinking, trying to improvise here. I don't want to spend all of my... All my Moogle points just yet. Let's see what this gets me. Ooh, pretty good haul. Oh, a high potion! It's a level 9! I'll definitely want to add that to my deck as soon as I can. Okay, I gotta think of something. Uh... This door goes nowhere, so it must be the right one. Wait, is that right? I don't... I don't know! Let me think here. Wait, let me actually check the map. What the heck am I thinking? The map! Get the map! I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map. That's where I came in. You know what? Screw it. I'll do Bottomless Darkness. I'm not afraid of the dark. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. I just wish that it would keep the theming. I ain't afraid of no toast. You know, these Heartless guys, they look so cute and kind of defenseless. The way they gather up on Sora without attacking him, it makes me kind of just imagine that they're desperately shouting save us in their own language, but Sora can't understand them, because he's too concerned with trying to kill them. You did not just counter my counter. Courage! Oh, you sons of bitches. Your mothers are goat herds. Take this. Yeah. <laughs> A moment's reprieve. That's nice. All right. I need a red card, so bottomless darkness is my only one. <clears throat> Good lord. Disney was really on top of their game with the songs back in the 90s. They were so great. Oh, woe is me! Is something wrong, Crab? What's wrong? You got crabs? Someone stole the king's magic trident! Atlantica is defenseless! Uh-oh. Ariel's in twobble. 
and to top it off, Princess Ariel has disappeared. Ariel, please come back. The king will have me for supper. King Triton's worried sick, he won't leave his chambers. Ariel? She disappeared? Ariel's friend Flounder would know where she is, but he, now he's gone too! Somebody got the fat fish? Wait a sec, didn't we just see Ariel? Yeah, but she didn't look real happy to see us. So, Sora, did you know who that was, or didn't you? You can't really tell with this game. Hey, wasn't she carrying something when we saw her? You don't think that was the trident? Well, it had three tines, so it wasn't a fork. Jiminy! Oh yeah, Jiminy can't, could breathe underwater in the Pinocchio movie. I may be live bait down there, but I'm coming with you. You know, maybe it was. You know, I'm starting to realize that Jiminy has played more of a role in this game than he has than he did in the last one. What? But that means that Ariel stole it. What? There must be some explanation. Ariel, where did you swim off to this time? If anything happens to you, the king will use me for target practice. The king will think it's all my fault. He told me to keep an eye on her, and know this. What if she ran away because of something I said? King Triton will punish me forever! Besides, we all know where Ariel is taking the friggin' trident. He'll pop his shell if we tell him Ariel took the trident. Guess we have to get to the bottom of this ourselves. Well, we're already at the bottom of the ocean, goof. <clears throat> So we don't get to see Jacked Gandalf? <laughs> okay, uh, is that the door that we need to go through? Hey! This is it! Courage! Sixteen hundred seventy-eight till the next one. Guarded trove, huh? Nope, this isn't the right door. Mike, this isn't Boo's door. Boo, what's Boo? <laughs> That's what I decided to call her. Mm, Sully, you're not supposed to name it. Once you start to name it, you start getting attached to it. <laughs> Now put that thing back where it came from, or so help me! Hmm. Look, fellas, I really don't have time to play with you guys. I'm looking for a sign. Actually, I'm looking for a... J I'm looking for a red-headed jailbait. I really hope that this is the right room. Magic cards are more effective. Hmm. Well, I would like to see what that's like. I bet this is the part where some pedantic a-hole tells me, like, what? How is it that your... <clears throat> how is it that your fire attacks could work underwater? Well, that's because it's not fire. It's highly concentrated plasma. Don't you guys know... 
Don't you guys know anything about physics? Of course! Don't you know anything about physics? Courage! Spread him out. All right, Goof, let him have it. False bounty? I don't like the sound of that. I don't like the sound of that. And I don't like the fact that there was nothing in that barrel. Is this an air pocket? Oh, I know. Doesn't really have mu much as much spring as I wanted. Crab Claw! Is that a friggin' jack-in-the-box? Under the sea? And it confused me? Jack-in-the-box used confusion. It's super effective. Sora is now confused. Hurt himself in his confusion. Ah! <laughs> this is it. Back off! <laughs> Wait, no. Power! Let him have it, Goop. I love that dog. There's a reason why he gets to wear clothes and Pluto doesn't. Goofy might be a simpleton, but he's my friend. Our yeah, friend Goofy. Yeah. <laughs> Heal. <laughs> Courage. <laughs> Holy crap! I think that cloud just bifurcated that guy's head. Is that another Moogle shop? Moogle. Moogle, 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 yeah. Moogle. Okay, I think we need to go this way. Okay, let's go in this way. I say we go in that way. He just never loins. I am completely out of red cards. What do I do if I need to open a car open a door with a red card? I really rather not waste one of my higher level cards, so looks like I got no choice. Come here. Here, you can have this. <laughs> Hey, red card. White mushroom, and it's only level two. Of course it would be. Holy, I didn't mean to hurt the crap the clam that much. Back off. This is it. I am going to introduce the undersea civilization to the marvel of Fire. All right, Duck, finish him off. Calamari on ice. Oh wait, that wasn't a crab. That was jellyfish. Should I do a moment's reprieve? Okay, uh, which one did I do last time? Did I do health or cards? Let's do health. Only two more levels until I get the sleep that I'm looking for. Yeah. Huh. 
Uh oh. This is it. Back off. Let them have it, Goof. Finish him off, duck. Okay. Donald, I think we need to have a talk about your definition of finish off. Green card. Martial Awakening, and it's a two. I honestly don't think I meant to hit that guy. This is it. Back off. I want you all to burn. Burn and die. Back off. Ha, goofy. Let him what the That's That's not right. Red card. Ah, shut up. Maybe I do need a moment's reprieve. <laughs> Moogle points. Yeah. Blue card. Blue card. Thunder. Yeah. All right. Let's save. Hard to believe I've gotten basically two hundred Moogle points back already. Uh oh. Looks like I'm about to get a call on Skype. Hmm. Huh, I just now realize that I don't know what I'm gonna get for dinner. Didn't realize how late it was getting. Yeah! Where's the other door? Did I seriously waste a card by coming in here? <sighs> Who do I blame for this? Because I certainly can't blame myself. And it's another th level 3 or higher card door. You know what? Screw it. Trove. 
At least the, the room is relatively featureless. A blue card. Blue cat! Hmm. Well. Wait a second. This isn't the right door either? My will hot cannot take this. This is it! Back off! This is it! Back off! Power! Can't wait to get a high ether, and I got false bounty back! How lovely! <sighs> Sorry guys, I'm not playing with you anymore. I need to figure out where it is I'm going. Cause I want to finish this before the friggin' time runs out, and I already had to sacrifice a few minutes on that friggin' female Joker Mantis, whatever I'm calling her. That's the... That's the wrong door again. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? <gasps> I'm supposed to go all the way down there? How many cards have I wasted? It's hot in here. Or is that just me? Or is it just hot in here because I'm seriously pissed off? Yeah. 
I think I finally found the correct door. A green card. Is that it? That's all I need? Just one green card? Ariel? Her cove. Hey, look back there! That's the slot for the crystal trident! Baaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
About time you showed up, goof. Fire! Goofy! Boy, oh. <laughs> Back off! Ha! <laughs> ha! <laughs> yeah! A great card. Shadow. Oh no. No, not premium bonus. As it turns out, premium is not actually very good, so I better go for a card that I don't want to use anymore. Or, I can just cancel. You see, the thing about premium is, premium cards don't reload when you reload your deck, so they're pointless. Nope, this is the wrong room. I need to keep talking. Seriously, like, basically, like, don't want Disney to copyright strike this, even though they're going to anyway. Even though, basically, this is pretty much the most harmless use of, us, of their songs that anybody could come up with. Okay, where's that door? There it is. It seems fitting that this is the door that leads to Ursula's lair, considering that it's surrounded by eternal darkness! I have a feeling that if we were to come to blows, I would come up a little short, no pun intended. So I am just going to sit here and do nothing. I really hope she doesn't use that cauldron again. Come in, my child. We mustn't lurk in doorways. It's rude. My, so many guests. <laughs> Have you made up your mind, my dear? I'll do anything for Flounder, but I need proof I can trust you. Oh, what? Are you sure? How do you need proof to trust this nice lady? From her clearly white, sinister hair to her purple skin and her black tentacles. I'm sure she's trustworthy. Of but of course, see? Ariel! I know something was special! There you have it. If you want your precious flounder back, give me the trident. What are you doing, girl? You have no idea what kind of power that thing has. Seriously. You had all the leverage in that situation. <laughs> Mine at last. <laughs> now I am the ruler of all the oceans. Let Flounder go, as you wish. But of course, I'm feeling generous. <laughs> I would have thought it, found it funny if she just smacked him away. Which reminds me, you always wanted to see other worlds, didn't you? Well, dear, I know just the world to send you to. Unfortunately, this will be a one-way trip! Well, doesn't this look familiar? The sea and all of its denizens shall grovel before me! Let's see what she can do. Bubble Blast. Okay, now I'm confused. This won't be pretty! Won't be pretty! Back off! 
I'm gonna make calamari of you, witch. Get him, Cloud. Back off. Okay, that didn't work. See what Ariel can do. Heal. This won't be pretty. Take this. This won't be pretty. Ariel. Yeah. Oh. Let her have it, Cloud. Yeah, Hope that the duck heals me. Okay, I guess not. This won't be pretty! That was the timer, but I'm not giving up. I can't. Seriously, I just got here. If I could finish this off within the next round or so, that should be plenty of time. But I'm wondering. Well, realizing that, really, the cards that do the best damage are Cloud, so let's rearrange the order of the deck. Let's see what... Let's see, add some crab claw to this dish. And for some reason, I really don't think that like my fire blitz attack is going to work, so 
or Fire Strike, whatever it's called. I don't know video game names, okay? that. Thinking, I'm thinking. Lighter, I need a lighter. Simba? No. Genie? No. Huh, Dumbo, but no. God, I got something in my ear. Let's hope that this works. Really want to give it to that fat bitch. But right now I'm just wondering, like, should I really waste any of my attacks attacking her tentacles, or should I just wait for a Mickey card to pop up? Exactly does that do? That's gonna be pretty. Power. I do something to stop the attack. Get ready for this. Get ready for this. Slipper. Yeah. Yeah. This won't be pretty. Let's courage. Get ready for this. 
Get ready for this! You should be out of high cards by now. Seriously, give me a four or a two or something. This won't be done! ready for this! Why are they allowed to do that? Get ready for heal! This won't be pretty! Power! Yeah! Get ready for this! This won't be tough! This won't be pretty! Yeah. Get ready for this! <laughs> Courage! You're the one who's running away. Won't be pretty! 
Card. Get ready for this! This won't be pretty! Power! Slice them up, Cloud. Make me some calamari. Hurry! This won't be pretty! Power! Hurry! Yeah! This time. Yeah, I knew you could do that. Get ready for this! Get ready for this! Yes! What? Gotta recharge first. Get down here, Ursula. Time to die, witch. Yes! One last hit right in the forehead. And that's how David took down Goliath. Whew! I am gonna be frying me up some seafood, something fierce after this, because I am hungry. And I've leveled up, and I am angry. I'm hangry. Back in the card where you belong. You know, some people say that Sora is a bit of a sociopath in this game because he kills people and stuffs them into cards, but quite frankly, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with him trapping their souls in little pieces of cardboard that he can then use to, strength, to strengthen himself. Because quite frankly, the boy deserves it. Please don't be mad, Ariel. That old witch tricked me. Flounder, as long as you're safe, nothing else matters. Now, all we have to do is return the trident and everything will be okay. Yeah, except your father is going to be royally pissed at you. But what if the king finds out you're the one who took it in the first place? I'll be grounded forever. Ariel! Ariel! Where are you, girl? Did they seriously come here looking for her? 
If you can hear me, please answer! I'm just assuming. Yep, it's Sebastian. He came all this way just to find me. Yep, and when he does, you're gonna get it. Hey, I know. Why don't you just say the sea witch stole the trident? And you got it back all by yourself. Then there's no way you'll get in trouble. Except Trident might think about that for more than just a few seconds. I just had the same idea. Sure you did, Red. That blank, vacant expression in your eye really lets you really lets us know that you're a thinker. But I can't do that. I don't want to get in trouble, but I can't lie. Not about this. Seriously? Jesus friggin' Christ. I know I haven't made the best decisions lately. It was a mistake to take the trident. But I made that mistake because I wanted to help you, Flounder. I'm proud of that. So you're proud that you made a mistake because you had a good cause to do it? You know, there are a lot of people throughout history that might not agree with you with that sentiment because regardless of the, your best intentions, a mistake is still a mistake. I mean, how did... How would you put it, Dr. Grant? <clears throat> Some of the worst things imaginable have been done with the best intentions. Blaming someone else would mean giving those feelings up, so I'm going to tell the truth. Hey, it's your green ass, not mine. She's right, Sora. Honesty is the best policy. Not always. Hey, I was just kidding. Great, now I'm the one in hot water. Hey, neither one of your noses is going to grow longer from this. <laughs> and you're in hot water with someone you could easily step on. So is that it? Do we not get an epilogue for, you know, Atlantica and whatnot? Well, anyway, I'm kind of glad that it's over. That fight with Ursula, that was just tedium on the half shell. Yeah. <laughs> You know, these are coral. We really shouldn't be touching them like this. Uh, but all this is just in Sora's head anyway. Sora's a real head case when you get down to it. And I have a feeling that the next episode is going to be just as annoying. So, let's just cut it off here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share, like, and share with your friends. If you want to keep up to date with more Kingdom Hearts coming your way in the future, then be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next video. Later! <laughs>